What's going on everyone and if you have the problem that you constantly get the notifications for you to breathe on your Apple Watch and it's kind of annoying for you, you simply want to get rid of this and you're not able to find a way how to do it, in this video I'm going to show you how you can disable these notifications very easily. So let's begin with this video right now. Okay, so the great part or the weird part about it is that you don't even use or you don't even need the Apple Watch to perform these changes. I mean, in the settings app of your Apple Watch, you don't really have too much to choose from or too much to control. So for this, you're going to have to grab the iPhone that is paired with the Apple Watch that you're trying to disable the notifications on. And what you have to do is to locate the watch app on your iPhone and make sure to open it up, of course. So you can see this is the main page. This is the main screen that shows up when you tap on the icon and what you have to do is to, is to scroll down until you see notifications. You also have this button or this picture, pictogram next to it, which represents notifications on the Apple Watch. If you receive multiple notifications at once, this is the symbol for that as well. So make sure to click on this and you can see that breathe should be somewhere at the top because it is ordered alphabetically. For me, it is in German, so it's all the way at the top but you're gonna have to find it under the breathe section and what you probably see right now is this section the notifications are enabled so you don't click on this if you want to get them but not as a notifications but only as in the control center or in the notification center on the apple watch click this option but if you want to turn them completely off make sure to click on the last one and this is going to make sure that you won't get the notifications again on your Apple Watch. Then you don't really have to care about the other settings because if you don't want the notifications, you probably don't use the app at all. And that means that you don't really care about the frequency of your breathing and stuff like that. But if you don't even know what the breathing app actually is, it is an app that is trying to help us to breathe quietly and calmly. It is it is actually telling you that you have to do this in order to calm down. So the application looks like this. And I haven't been really using this that much. I was only using it to try out the haptic engine inside because when you are inhaling and exhaling, you're getting the haptic feedback on your wrist, which is really intense and really good depending on your series of the Apple Watch, of course, but in general, it's pretty good. This is an app which is useless for many people and I don't really see the use of this in real life, but you can see that it gives you instructions to inhale and to exhale in a certain uh, time intervals in order for you to calm down. I mean, this is the idea behind it, but like I said, people don't usually want to have uh, notifications for it just to breathe or take a breath. It's kind of ridiculous for them. So this is the reason why I showed you this method and why I'm making this video at first place. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, if you found this useful and informative, then click on the like button and make sure to subscribe as well so you don't miss any future content, any future videos like this one and make sure that your Apple Watch is going to work perfectly throughout the time. So, okay, so that was it. I uh, hope you're having a good day and see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.